Good evening, it is Tuesday the 22nd of August and welcome to Ending the Day with God. Our opening piece of music this evening is the hymn, Bind Us Together. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We now come to our reading this evening and we're continuing looking at the book of the prophet Micah and our theme this evening is Banding Together. Chapter 2 verses 12 and 13. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will gather the survivors of Israel. I will set them together like sheep in a fold like a flock in its pasture. It will resound with people. The one who breaks out will go up before them. They will break through and pass the gate, going out by it. Their king will pass on before them, the Lord at their head. Thanks be to God. And now we come to our reflection. People sometimes say, I don't go to church. You don't need to go to church to be a Christian. To which the response could be, yes, but it's much more difficult to be a Christian without the support of others. We are a family through Christ, and healthy families encourage and help one another. They rejoice with each other when there are things to celebrate, and they offer care when times are hard. In this evening's reading, Micah reminds his people that despite their current sufferings, they belong to God. They are not alone and they have not been forgotten. Like sheep feeding happily on good pasture, then safely gathered into the security of a sheepfold, they have the reassurance of company and the hope of freedom, led by the Lord, their shepherd and their king. There is a better future ahead and they will be led out through the gate, their exile at an end. For Micah's community, it's crucial to remember that although there has been judgment, there is still hope. God gathers the survivors together so that it's apparent that the people of Israel, the people who, although they have transgressed, are still special to the Lord, can once again be built up. We might find ourselves at times in a similar frame of mind. Tragedies or circumstances are hard to bear alone, but supportive Christian friends can remind us that we are valuable to God. They can help us to repent of the things we know we have got wrong, and they can assure us that Christ is ready to forgive. And they can stay with us while we wait for better times to come. Christ the Good Shepherd, may I know that I am never alone. Gather me safely in your sheepfold and lead me into a better future. Amen. We come now to our prayers. Father, tonight in love, 
we stand alongside the peoples of the world. We ask you to be with them, particularly those living in situations of violence, poverty, hunger and disease. We pray that you will guide the leaders of the nations in your ways. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, in love we stand alongside all those whose lives are bound up with ours. Work with tenderness in the relationships that we hold most dear. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, in love we stand alongside all whose bodies, minds or spirits are hurting. Please minister to them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, in love we stand alongside all who are close to death and those who have died recently. We pray now for your mercy and loving kindness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, with love in our hearts, we thank you for all that you are and for all that you do in our lives. Amen. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. And now we pray together as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.